Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video I wanted to talk about the uh, ACES workflow and the open caller IO uh, pipeline. So if you go under the github.com slash imageworks, uh, this is a Sony open source project where they, uh, they are hoping to create a unified uh, color correction pipeline and for VFX and basically any any CG related uh, rendering. So if you go under, uh, sorry, not open color uh, IO, open color IO dash config. And under here, you will see that there is this ACES workflow and the latest version is 1.0.3 and this is the one we need. Now you can clone and download the whole package um, and will include everything. And then all you have to do is extract these folders. So in this case, I've uh, extracted them here. This is the package. And then once you extract it, you'll see uh, it has all these folders, which is basically this, except I deleted these guys. So the one we're interested in is the 1.0.3. And um, uh, inside this folder, there is a config.ocio uh, file. And this is an amazing thing for VFX in general. This OC, uh, uh, this config file defines a variety of things uh, that solves a lot of issues. And by just exporting one environment variable, all the other packages, all the packages, uh, mplay, Houdini, Arnold, I'm not so sure how much Mantra has this. I don't think they do, but mplay supports it. Render view supports it. Uh, Arnold supports it. And then Nuke supports it and uh, Natron and various other packages supports it as well. So all you have to do is uh, take copy the path to this file, not the path where it lives, and then export an environment variable called OCIO that points to that file. And you're done. Now, once you open, once you do that and restart Houdini, under the render view, you should see this ACES uh, workflow. You should see this option here. And the default is fine. We're going to be primarily using this. We're not going to change anything. And then the other thing that you will notice is when you open mplay uh, with Houdini 16, uh, the latest version, not the previous one. You have to have Houdini 16. And come on. Yeah, here, I have this already. So you see here, I have the uh, open color IO option. And I can turn it off and uh, or I can enable it and say raw. And this will show me the image in uh, linear space, the original render in linear space. If I want to turn this off, I have to disable the open color IO option and then change it to gamma. And now we're back to default. This is how the render looks like in an sRGB space, the same render. And look at this, um, these guys. Now to turn it back on, uh, right click and say open color IO profile and then make sure enable open color IO profile is turned on. And this is set to sRGB. Look how beautiful that is. Now uh, the, the, these are the primary options. And if we go under uh, Arnold, I have made a couple of changes to the UI because I've it's too much uh, dark gray for me. And um, so if we go here, I'm gonna hit tab and type in Arnold. Now Arnold has great support for uh, Open Image IO and they still, uh, they're still working on it. The reason I'm calling it Open Image IO because that's what the project is. And then part of it is the uh, uh, ACES workflow. And then uh, here, if we go under property system, there is this option for rendering. And what this is going to do is when you have values, let's say uh, a shading value, uh, for example, a refraction or absorption, the values that you need to put in, especially with hair, the, the melanin value for the hair, for example, the value that you're going to put in, in the shader needs to go through a uh, ACES workflow multiplication to give you the right value so that what you see is what you get in the render. And to get that working properly, if you click here, you'll see all the options available because of that OCIO workflow that we uh, exported. And the one we're interested in is ACES CG. I generally set this uh, to both of them. And then that will also be used 
Uh, no, it won't be used. Yeah, it will be used in the texture conversion as well. So when we create a shader, uh, now create an image. See, it says auto color space here. It will use the settings for uh, from OpenImage.io to do the texture conversion from linear into the OCIO, uh, sorry, into the ASIS CG workspace, and that will give you the correct texture. So everything is set up. You don't have to worry about anything. And then uh, when we start doing some renders, we'll get to the, uh, we'll, uh, we'll learn how to uh, view, view them in Nuke and then how to save them out as well, because I think that you guys will need this at some point. And then what else? I think that's pretty much it. The only, the only option needed is you download this and then export the OCIO environment variable uh, that points to this file. Now, when we go to the render view, there is also this option here. Uh, but if we turn it off and, um, and say load bake, we can actually load the, the bake file, which is basically getting loaded, but the, the, the system takes care of that. So if you go under the ASIS 103, under baked, under Houdini, and this is all the lots that we need. So we can load one from there directly, and that should give us the same result. And the one we're interested in is sRGB for ASIS CG Houdini. And that will be the same as the one we were just loading. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.